Long count, going to take the snap. Here's Walker, Wade getting pushed back, and he's going to be dropped for a sack inside the Holy Cross 10. It'll be at about the 6, and Ben Richard going to be credited with that sack. He just blew down there for his third sack this season. No score here in the first quarter in Worcester. Nicolaysen, the tight end, will move from the left to the right side. Ball at the Bucktail 24. And there's a Wildcat. This is Alexander taking the snap. He'll pitch it out to Flaherty right. He'll get a block. He'll throw a pass. A man is wide open and it's touchdown. Touchdown for the Crusaders. Why Zorick open in the end zone on a fake play. The youngster Bryce Sidner back there bit on the run. Possibility of Flaherty. That's Montgomery. Alexander to the right of Bell. Again, could be a draw play, but Bell back to pass. Tries to throw it over the middle, and it's open and touchdown. Threw behind Wise Zorick on a slant, but he had beaten Buckdell's backup defensive back, Sola Laley, and it's going to be touchdown. Nolly Cross leads this 13 to nothing. He was going to pass on first and 10. He's going to tuck it and run up the middle. He'll break a tackle at the 30 and fall forward for a Bucktail first down at the Bison 38-yard line. Wasp, where the ball will be placed, will be kicking a 23-yard field goal well within his distance. Ball is on the right hash mark for the right-footed kicker. McGrail, the punter, is the holder. High snap, kick winds to the goal boost to our right, splits the uprights good. And Ole Cross will get three points out of a seven-play drive. And as I mentioned, this is kind of a good drive here where the offense can hopefully get some momentum going. Just haven't really been able to string anything together so far. Mew sets up a screen nicely designed and executed to DeFloria. He'll take it up the far sideline and break a tackle at the Buckdale 35. And he'll dance his way for a Buckdale first down to the Bison 40-yard line. Fourth and two, Buckdale going for it at the Holy Cross 43. Play clock still at 16. You going to pass, throw it over the middle, and it'll be caught for a first down. Coming up with the big catch for Bucknell was Will Carter. And here's Mew under center facing a second and eight. Carter singly covered to the near, the short side. Butler in motion towards the formation on the right side. Mew under duress, throws a screen. It's caught by the running back to Floria down the near sideline. He will traverse his way to the five, fight down to the Holy Cross two, and he'll have it first to goal for the Bison at the one yard line. Good job by the Bucknell offensive line that time. Pressure, as you would expect on a screen setup, but Mew had enough time to dump it off to DeFloria down the near sideline. Millhouse hauls him down at the Holy Cross one. Can Buckdale score first and goal at the one? They'll go straight eye behind Mew under center. Hand off to Floria. He'll leap into the end zone for six. Touchdown! Your Buckdale Bison to Floria. Angled left, left, right, and for Joey, he has his sixth rushing touchdown this year. Bell looks off to his left, calling the play. He will get a low snap, throw a screen out to the near side. That's immediately dropped as Montgomery will lose yards. Great defense by Tom Badolas, where the ball will be placed on the far hash mark for the right foot of kicker Zane Wasp. It's going to be a 32-yard field goal to the goal post to our right. Holder is McGrath, and the snap is good, and the kick winds to the goal post to our right, and it splits the uprights good. Not at all. Here's a handoff to Floria, and on second and four, he'll break a tackle, crossing the 30 up to the 35. Joey DeFloria running with some authority, finally dragged down at the Bucknell 37-yard line, is coming up to make the stop for the Crusaders that time was Chase Stratton, but that'll be a first and 10 for the Orange and Blue. With Alexander to his left, takes the snap, looks to his right, now he's going to tuck it in and run, and he's going to be dragged down for a loss at the 36-yard line. Coming up was Whitlock. And also Abdullah Anderson, Bell, third and 10, goes with a draw play. He will spin out of some trouble, but he'll be sacked for a third time today. Buckdell comes in there with all out pressure, and I think Jordan may have gotten his first sack of the year. Um, he is 6'4". I think I would just go with a quarterback draw, but they will hand a deep ball to DeFlory, and he'll break it outside. Here he goes to the 40, to the 50, to the 45, to the 40. He'll get pushed out of bounds inside the Crusaders' 35-yard line, down at the 27. At the 27 of Holy Cross, 220. 
29 and counting third period. You under center, goes play action, has time, throws it out of the backfield. Great grab by Hours. He'll traverse his way down the near side, break a tackle at the 15, fight to the 10, and he'll be up ended inside the Holy Cross eight yard line. He'll be dropped down officially at the three. I think he was hoping he would just magically go those extra nine feet and uh, get the get the touchdown. First and goal at the three, hand off. This is fresh knock, burrowing his way forward for his first career touchdown of the freshman's career. Touchdown, your Bucknell Bison, as fresh knock just put his shoulder down and was able to ramble it inside from three. And Bucknell, like you called it, Todd, within a 20 to 13 score. Third and six, Holy Cross. Bell goes play action, rolls left, fires a dump pass for a screen to Flaherty. He'll make a cut at midfield, but he'll be wrapped up short of a first down. Brett Berg comes up all the way from Danville, Pennsylvania, and knocks down Flaherty, the shifty one, for a uh, gain of just two. It'll be fourth down and four. So this is a big play here to get a little bit of distance from the end zone. It's a second and ten. Pass over the middle. Butler will take it into middle of the field for a first down as he will traverse the 15 all the way to the 17-yard line. But if Bucknell can get it like they did last third down, they would be happy here. Third and five for the Bison. Ball at the Bucknell 23. Nobody in the backfield from Ewell. Throw out of the backfield. He'll be caught by Podbielski. He'll put his shoulder down and pick up necessary yardage for a first down before being dropped at the 37. Second big game. Catch here today for Andrew, hauling him down after the grab, though, was A.J. Wells. You're right, it is Joey. Back to pass is Mew. He looks deep. It's taken away. Now he'll go deep. Carter is there. He catches it down the far sideline. Out of bounds at the 30. Boy, and the Buckdale coaches over there. Actually, I think Lyle Keister, the uh, equipment manager, said he was inbounds. Now, this is a replayable game. It cost Holy Cross a touchdown earlier. Is that a replayable type play? I don't know. Mew is in the shotgun now, and DeFlory off to his right. He'll look to his left to pass. He'll have time. Throw it. It'll be caught. And fighting close to the original line of scrimmage on that catch, and then getting up very slowly is Hours. Hours caught a huge grab there earlier, and he's going to take himself out of the game. He'll be bopped out of bounds inside the Holy Cross 35 by Luke Ford. It'll be first and 10 Bison at the Crusaders 28. That's the second time we've seen that delay handoff to DeFloria and him bouncing it outside for big yardage. Here's a rollout pass by Mew. Doesn't have any bite. Now throws it deep. Great grab inside the 15-yard line by Bucknell's receiver. Coming up with a huge grab was the freshman, Bethea, and he'll have a first down and 10 for the Bison at the Holy Cross 12. You in the pistol now. Go a handoff, fresh knock, and fresh knock breaks it. Inside the 10, inside the 5. Ladies and gentlemen, he scores his second career touchdown. Touchdown! Your Bucknell Bison, Chad Freshnock, broke tackles left, right, and up the middle. And Burdick will put his right foot into it. It'll be taken at the nine-yard line by Wyzorek. He'll come right up the middle, and he'll be wrestled down immediately. And the Bucknell fans standing and cheering across the way. Let's see who's going to get credited at getting a head slap all the way over there is Marcus Adamalola. That's really good to see. You know, Marcus caught a big touchdown pass and a win at Lafayette last year, but he's been basically used for special teams, and he works his butt off in practice. Wasp already has two field goals today, one from 32 yards, one from 23. This will be decidedly further, 42 yards, which would tie his career high for the right-footed kicker. And the ball on the near hash mark, so not a bad placement, but could he push the ball wide? right we will see for the lead Zane Wasp the veteran kicker snap is good hold is good kick winds to the goal post to our left and it is no good no good wide to the right and that's what we said Todd when you're a kicker and you're on the near hash mark and you're a right footer you have to kind of kick it to an angle to your right like a golfer with a chip shot because you don't want to hook it but at the 32-yard line, this could be the play of the game for Bucknell. Holy Cross only has one more timeout in its holster. And the Bison, of course, with three. But I'd love to get a, time, a first down here and not have to have a timeout except to move the chains. Third and three, Bucknell. You in the pistol. Crowd getting into it here with the Bison up a point. Three minutes, 30 seconds left. Hand off to Floria. He'll get a seal block by, by Julian Davenport and will take it up the far sideline for a first and 10. 
Could be the play of the game for Holy Cross. Fourth and 10 at the Crusaders. 10 with 101 left. Holy Cross down a point to Bucknell. Wade takes the snap. Two-step drop. Rolls out to his left. He's going to be sacked at the one-yard line. The Bison are going to come up with one of their huge defensive plays. Is coming up to knock him down at the one was R.J. Sheldon. And man, oh man, did R.J. play a fantastic game or what? there. Coach Susan comes out at midfield and gives high fives to his team and the Bison which trailed 17 to nothing to Holy Cross is going to come all the way back and win this one 21 to 20.